welcome to a video explaining how to use the new PixWriter app on an iPad. Today my students, Strawberry Shortcake and Care Bears, are going to be writing some sentences. We're going to start with Strawberry Shortcake and to move into her login we press OK. I've already got her set up with all the features that she needs and today she wants to write a sentence about Strawberry Shortcake's favorite pink cake. In order to set that up, I build this for Capital her I. by typing Will. all the words that I know she's going to May. use A. into her Pink. sentence. And the reason that makes it fast is because when you go down to the yellow button on the left hand corner, that changes into the actual symbol systems that we're going to lock the student into so that she can use picture icons in order to write a sentence. So I can get everything set up for her just by typing all those sentences and words. Cake. I will make a pink cake. I heard a few things that were wrong. Before I give this to my student, I want to make sure it's all going to work out just right. Under I, if I hold this down, capital I, you hear that it's saying capital I. I want to edit that. I don't want it to say capital I. I want it to, in the second box, say as, let me delete that and just put a lowercase i. Let me press the audio button to see what that sounds like. I. Now when the student t uh, touches I, it's going to be a small i. Right now the icon is of a Care Bear. I can also change that picture to her own picture by importing a file or doing a web search for Strawberry Shortcake. We're going to press Done. Now that I button will actually say I instead of capital I. And I know it says I will make a pink cake, but the last picture, the cake is brown. It just looks like a chocolate cake. I'd rather scroll and find a great pink cake. Here's one that I'm going to select that changes the item picture, and we can press done. And now the icon matches the pink cake. For some students, a grid of 24 on the bottom is okay because you can add more words and they have more options but if you go to the settings gear in the right hand corner I can also change this to a certain amount of buttons this one student I'm working with she only needs 12 buttons and that's because we need some extra buttons as a buffer to help her really focus so I'm gonna do 12 buttons instead and I'm also gonna disable the document keyboard for her one of these options here so that she doesn't go over and try to type other words I'm going to say OK to that, so you just X out of that, and you'll see now that my field has lowered to 12 spots, and I'm going to move the words around to the exact spots that I may want them, depending on the student's access. And I'm at this point, the student's an emerging writer. We're still teaching how to form a sentence, and we know that that happens from left to right, so that's why I'm going to keep the words in this order instead of shuffling them at this point, but I'm also going to color code them. We know that on a stoplight we have green means go, yellow means slow down, and red means stop. And by telling the student that she needs to hit the green words first, then the yellow, then the red, then we'll start to build sentences. If I delete what I've already typed and save it and lock it here, then the student can come in and type the pre-built sentence. So I'm going to save this as cakes. We can always get back to that and use it over and over for cakes. We can change the colors really easily. And the lock button is in two spots. If we look up by the word cakes, you'll see that it's an unlock icon right now. But down in the left hand corner, right above the Care Bear, is an icon for lock. I'm going to press that that now locks the keyboard, locks the symbols, and if this is in guided access, the student cannot get out of it. I and we're going to prompt her to hit the green will first, make then yellow, a pink, and cake. Then the red sentences and you'll or the red words. We see we have a full sentence. I will make a pink cake. If you want to hear it again, you hit the listening kind of volume icon above the word cake. I will make a pink cake. Reads the entire sentence and the eyeball takes away all the symbols so that it looks more like an actual sentence. When you're totally done and you're ready to send this off, we go to the classic icon on an iPad up in the right hand corner where you see the paper and an arrow set it out of it 
you can send it to Google Drive and it just sends it as an, a picture. And there it goes. I want to switch back over to my other student, the Care Bear, because Care Bears are always writing about their feelings. So when I hit Care Bear, I can see the um, picture I have for Care Bear, and I click the green OK. We're going to go to his saved files, and let's go to his feelings. He only has four icons on his because we're at a very basic sentence structure and we don't want to give him any other options and we want him in a row so that he will touch i i feel feel happy happy today today you'll hear that it's now a male voice that's because in his settings we have it on aaron as a male voice because care bear is male again his keyboard is disabled and he only has four buttons if you needed to unlock it so you could add more words this button here in the settings that has unlock is where you unlock the keyboards and then you can get in and move things or change colors. I am really liking this new PixWriter app that is used on an iPad instead of on a full computer. We can go into calendars for this student and every day use the same file over and over again because you could do the sentence today is oh it wasn't locked see that's my problem i have to lock it before i do today, today is, is wednesday wednesday tomorrow tomorrow will be thursday and will. so on this whole file can be used every day so this goal is to become an emerging writer and give the student the power to write their own sentences